Hey everyone, this is Will, so today I'm going to tell you some of the best passive income ideas. First of all, what is passive income? Passive income is basically an income that you generate being very little involved. So basically something that you set up and after the initial work that you do, it still continues to make you money with very little or even no effort at all. You will be able to find more information about all of this stuff that they talk about. I might discuss some of the things separately get really in depth so check out the description to see if there are other videos or go to my website and find some information there okay so the first way is creating an online course this has been exploding in the last couple of years so if you are an expert in some certain area this can be a great way for you to set up passive income what you're doing here is basically creating a course of a series of lessons on a certain subject and that subject really it can be pretty much anything let's say you're passionate about photography you can teach people how to take pictures how to use camera or maybe even how to use the software that you use to edit your pictures what you might consider just as your hobby can actually make a great course and can generate passive income for you as long as you bring value for your students courses can be made in different formats so you can make a video course talking to your students you can make a video course when basically just show slides and you talk over the slides you can make a written course where people basically just read pdfs or something like that that you've written for them you probably can even make an audio course where people just listen to you. There are also a couple different ways how you can offer these courses for your students. You can use a course hosting website such as Udemy, which basically provides you everything that you need. It provides you all the tools necessary, all the hosting and all of that. Basically, they host your course and then they bring you students and all that. Of course, you can bring your own students, but if you don't, they bring some students as well. So all all that you need to do with this option is basically just to create the course itself. The other option is to host the course yourself. That means basically to have your own website where people can access your course and don't get afraid, it's very easy. Even if you're not a technical person, these days it's super simple to make a simple website and then there are different websites, different services such as Teachable that provide you all the tools necessary to have the course on your website website. The benefit of this is that you don't need to pay a percentage of your earnings to Udemy and also there's no gap of how big or how small you can make the price. Okay, the second way to earn passive income is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is basically promoting other people's products and getting commission for that. This is probably the easiest way to earn money online or start passive income. What you need to do is just find a product that you like that you enjoy that you use yourself and that you want to promote and then just find a way how you can show that to your audience and how you can promote it in a way that people actually purchase it and you get commission out of it this is pretty great if you already have some social media following or you have a blog or something like that or a YouTube channel as well then basically you just find some products in your niche that would make sense in the content that you create do please test out those products first and then you can promote them and get affiliate commission you can literally do pretty much anything and for some affiliate products programs you don't even need to have a website so there are a few different ways how you can do this you can promote affiliate products on your website on your blog you can do it on your social media such as Facebook Instagram Pinterest YouTube all of those different social medias you can do it through email list as well you can build a niche website which is very common with affiliate marketing I mean there are just a lot of different ways to do this the affiliate products can be both digital and physical products usually if you go for physical products I would say on average you would get something between 5 and 10 percent which it's not that great but if you do manage to sell quite a lot you can make some money and if you go for digital products you can actually make on average around 50 percent which can be a lot of money the last great thing about this is that you don't need to have your own product basically you're just promoting other people's products so you don't need to spend all of the time creating your own product which can take a long 
long time. Okay, the next one is publishing an ebook. This is probably the oldest trick in the book, but it still works and you still can generate pretty good passive income from it. This is pretty much the same as creating a course that I already mentioned, except two different things. Creating an ebook is much, much easier because with ebook, you basically just need to write it and that is it. Whereas with a course, you need to write it, you need to film it, you need to edit it. So it's a lot more work. Secondly, a lot of people actually outsource the writing of ebook, they don't really write it themselves because when it comes to a course, you need to talk with your audience, you need to at least use your voice most of the time, so it is hard to, you You can't really fake that, but with an ebook, you can actually outsource at least a part of the ebook to someone else to write. When it comes to selling ebooks, there are a couple different options as well how you can do this. You can sell it on basically distributing websites such as Amazon where people will just come on those websites and they will find your ebook. Of course, for that, you will need to pay a percentage to the website that you're using. The other option is to use your own website, which is better because you can earn more money, but at the same time, you do need to have some sort of audience or you need to use ads or whatever it is. Basically, you need to bring the audience to your ebook. The most common one way as far as I know from my own experience is publishing the ebook on Amazon. The fourth thing is selling digital products. This does require some skills, though actually not even necessary all the time. This actually might be one of the best ways to make passive income. However, at the same time, there is a barrier to get into this, hence there aren't that many people to begin with. So by saying selling digital products, I mean a bunch of different things. There are so many different digital products that you can create anything from postcards to music to WordPress plugins and website themes and all that there's a bunch and a bunch of different stuff you can make but what I want to talk about here specifically is design digital products as I mentioned there is an entry barrier because you do need to have let's say designing skills if you want to make design products but from my own experience I have built websites before and I made UI UX for my app that I was building before and I learned everything from YouTube honestly I pretty much learned everything from YouTube tutorials it is not that hard at least to do the basic stuff to create pretty much basic designs you can learn that pretty pretty easy even if you don't want to invest your time that's completely fair enough you can still find a freelancer who's going to make those products for you so a very common practice is to find a good niche just to see what could be a good product that people would actually buy and then find someone who can make that product for you, buy it from them, find someone on freelancer or something like that, buy that product from them and then sell it to other people and make profit. An example of this could be a website design package or let's say social media design package that people can just take uh, apply their own stuff, change things up, so most of the work is already done for them. A lot of people are buying this type of stuff. Another example is I have created my own Lightroom presets that I use on my pictures and I'm selling those on my website, so if someone wants to level up their photography game and use my presets, get my colors, then they can just buy the presets and every time someone buys my presets, I get 30 bucks. The fifth thing is drop shipping. So basically the concept of drop shipping is creating a website, a store through Shopify or some similar service like that and then finding a wholesaler, a supplier who can send the items directly from their place to your customer. The great thing about this business model is that you don't even need to touch goods. You don't need to produce anything or anything like that. You just find the customers, you just sell it to them, and then the supplier takes care of everything. So to give you a little bit better understanding, these are the basic steps of dropshipping. Find a niche, find a supplier, 
create a website, bring traffic to your website, get a supplier, ship out the goods. The way you earn money from dropshipping is by putting a margin on the products that you get from your suppliers when you sell them to your customers. So for example, you find something like a necklace on AliExpress that costs $2 made in China very cheap and then you advertise that, you promote it on your website as an item for $10. So once the customer buys it, then you get the supplier to ship it out directly to the customer. You pay $2 and you receive $10 from the customer, so you earn 8 bucks. It also depends whether you drive organic traffic or you drive ads. If you drive ads, then basically the whole combination is what the customer paid minus the supplier cost minus the marketing cost equals your profits. This can be passive and not passive income. Why I included this as passive income is because if you really master how to do ads, whether it's Facebook ads, Instagram, Pinterest, whatever ads you use, Google or whatever, if you master how to do those ads, then it can be pretty passive. As long as you put in the initial work, you created the website, the shop, and then you found some winning campaigns you just have to keep an eye on this, those campaigns and put in more money and you don't really need to do that much after this drop shipping can be a little bit controversial because basically you're just taking cheap goods and just putting a higher price tag on them but honestly when you think about it majority of the companies probably 90% of the companies out there do exact same thing even the big brands they've seen some products that you can get mass produced really cheap and then it's exactly same thing as the big brands sell to you so honestly i just think it is a good way to learn about e-commerce before investing a bunch of time and getting stuck with a stock the next way is making youtube videos and this is my favorite way to make passive income as you might be able to tell if you are watching this video people are saying that video is going to be the new medium of information and honestly a kind of thing that it already is however the good thing about it is that there's still quite a bit of place to get in compared to something like blogging okay so the way you can make money with YouTube videos the first way is Google Adsense that basically means that when you get into partners program with YouTube they're going to show ads a little bit banner ads or skip ads or the ads you might see on the side every time someone watches your video you get a little bit of money from that this is kind of great because because if you put in that work and you make a video it's going to continue on making money for you I have some videos I made two three years ago and they're still generating revenue I have to tell you though that the ads on videos are not going to generate tons of money for you it's actually very little money in comparison you really need to get a lot and a lot I mean hundreds of thousands if not millions of views to have some really substantial income however I have some videos that I've earned a couple thousand dollars just from a single video so it really depends how many views you manage to get the second way is using affiliate marketing that I just talked about you can do pretty much exactly same thing the good thing with video though is making YouTube videos is that you can do review videos where you actually show the product or you show how you're using the product which makes your customer a lot more likely to actually purchase the product rather than when they just read a blog post about it. Another way of making money is creating your own products. If you're willing to put in the time, then you can create your own products and sell it to your audience, which means you can create your own margins. It can be pretty much anything from merchandise to digital products, anything that comes to your mind as long as you think your audience will actually like it and find it useful. You can use such services as Printful to create merchandise without any investment. You don't need to go to a shop and buy 100 t-shirts and then hope that someone's going to buy them. You can just use Printful and just print on demand. As I said before, check out the description, go to my website, I'll put the links I'm talking about and I'll put more information on my website. The last thing I want to mention about YouTube and making money is sponsored videos. I wouldn't really classify this as passive income because most of the time it is one of deals. However, this is just a bonus just for you to know because this is where most of the YouTubers actually make significant money. When you think about how much money you make with ads, 
the sponsored videos can be from 10 to 20 times of that which can be a fairly big amount last thing is selling stock footage this is pretty old school the way of earning passive income however it still really works especially now with drones and cameras becoming much much cheaper it is much easier to produce content and a lot more people need content these days as well what you're doing here is basically creating either video footage or pictures that you are licensing to other people so they can use them wherever they wish on their business on their website whatever it is again you can do this in a couple different ways you can sell stock footage on your own website or you can use someone else's website and sell it through them i will try to put some of those websites down below in the description and on my website i have to warn you though that Making passive income with stock footage is not an easy way. You need to create a lot and a lot. You need to invest quite a bit of time. However, I do have some friends that make around a thousand dollars or so per month of really not putting in any effort whatsoever. What I love about this is that you can actually earn money from something that you maybe already do, a hobby that you already have, you can monetize that. If you actually want to make a lot of money from it though, I would say try to get into industries that are actually paying, that they're willing to pay more money and they need specific type of pictures. So for example, if you get into finance or something like that, something to do with business, you are more likely to buy more pictures and pay more money for it. Okay, so the quick conclusion from my own experience, it seems that affiliate marketing is the easiest way to get into the passive income. The most passive way is selling digital products and stock footage. The quickest way to earn a significant passive income is drop shipping. However, it does come with a risk. If you're investing a lot of money in ads and you really don't know what you're doing, you can lose out a lot of money as well. If you found this useful, then subscribe to my YouTube channel, press thumbs up, follow me on social media, check out my other videos, as I said, go to my website, there is a ton of stuff about passive income, about skill development, all that good stuff, share it with your friends, share this video with whomever, tweet it or pin it on your Pinterest or whatever, stay awesome and I'll see you soon.